This is an excerpt from a recent Power Up webinar looking at multicam editing in Apple Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to work with multi-track audio in a multicam clip. The way this is recorded is I have Andrew's mic on Andrew's camera, Lisa's mic on Lisa's camera, and Daniela's on Lisa's camera. And I'm recording everything with a camera mic on camera three. So I don't want any audio from here, and I do want individual audio from these two. Select the clip. Go up to the inspector and go to audio. And I'm going to double-click the title here to expand the, the inspector. And I now see all the audio for every clip inside the multicam. Not just the one that's active, but all of them. So if I want to see Andrew's audio and Lisa's audio and turn off the audio from the wide shot, I'm going to uncheck the dialog from the wide shot, turn on Lisa's audio, and turn on Andrew's audio. And now in that multicam clip, across all the clips, I hear Andrew's mic, I hear Lisa's mic, I hear Danielle's mic. And so I can see what I'm doing, go up to here, clip, expand audio components, and there is Andrew's mic, and there is Lisa and Danielle's mic. So I can now do a video-only edit. Let me just prove this point here. Spacebar, play, and click on Andrew. And, and yet I still, uh, although I'm forcing cuts, yes, the cuts are there, but they're through edits. I haven't changed my audio. I can now go through and do a complete audio mix or adjust these however I want while still having complete access to the separate audio. This is a new feature inside Multicam is that you can now deal with multi-track audio on a Multicam clip. Even though the audio is coming from different clips, you can still have access to all of it, which is really, really cool. One thing you don't want to do is don't select audio and say detach audio. There's no way to reattach it except to build it into a compound clip. And once audio is detached, it's going to be almost impossible to find sync because there's no timecode displayed with an audio clip. Detaching audio is fine if you want to get rid of the audio or you want to get rid of the video that's attached to it. Detaching audio is a really bad idea if what you want is control over the audio because you're going to lose sync and your life is just going to be miserable. So instead, work with expanding the audio or double click it or expanding the audio components to see individual channels within the audio. Don't detach the audio. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at multicam editing inside Apple Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 223. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, a membership to our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,600 movies, hundreds of hours, in-depth and easy to view. Plus, premium members can now access sample media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it several times a month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.